Hey everyone, this is Max from CG Max 7 and in this tutorial we're going to create some random balls with some lighting effect and I'm going to use Arnold over here. So this is going to be the final results when we're going to create balls. So you can see the lighting effect over here and this is all done in Arnold which I'm going to show you and yeah you can uh you know you get uh, you can even change the lighting as well you can play with this you can make it you know, on your own way but this is going to be a really useful tutorial also we're going to cover up some little bit depth of field as you can see the effect of the depth of field over here and these balls are totally in focus over here so yeah you can uh get the results and beside if you want to uh, find some more tutorial you can just come to this uh, art station and this I uh, put my all my work over here and you can see all my all of my work over here okay or you can go to the YouTube or just subscribe me the same thing anyhow let's get started so uh, first of all I'm going to create a plane so I'm holding down shift right click and I'm just going to create a simple plane over here yeah. using my move tool with W and R for scale I'm just going to scale a bit there you go and I'm just going to create a sphere then holding down shift right click poly sphere I'm just going to drag and create a sphere over here there we go If I switch to my side view, make sure it's on the grid, and then right click faces, just select all these polygons from the center. And if I hit the F key, it becomes focus, so it's going to frame it all the selection and just show it on the screen so I'm going to hit control E for extrude that the shortcut key for the extrude I'm just going to bring it out a little bit there we go and I'm going to hit R to scale them just to scale them down there we go much better and I'm going to shift and the greater sign just to grow the selection and then I'm going to apply the material onto the selection so I'm going to hit control T oh sorry shift T my bad and make sure you're in Arnold so in order to check you're in Arnold you just go to the render setting and make sure you are using the Arnold over here Okay, that's what we want it. Once it's done, then we're going to go come to the shader and let's come to the AI standard. And over here we want to focus on the emission. And I can change the color, which whatever color it would be. So this is going to be this color. So you can play with these colors. Right, so I'm just going to name it, say glow, and I'm just going to make another selection. I'm just going to select all the faces. I'm just going to hold down control and deselect these faces. There we go. And again, shift T, applying new material, shader coming to AI standard and make my diffuse way too dark yeah. okay much better now let's create a camera so let's go to create and go to camera and camera there we go scale up the camera just going to rotate and 90 degrees so I'm just going to come on my channel box editor 
and give the rotation around 90. There you go. Then just move it a little bit back. Okay, better. And let's look through the camera. So let's go to the panel, perspective, and camera one. Okay. I'm just going to set up an angle over here. And I'm just going to turn on my render frame. So this is the part is going to be render. There we go. And let's take a simple render and see what it's looking like. So what I'm going to do is go to Arnold and I'm going to use Arnold render view, which gives me the live render view. Okay. And you notice nothing is visible over here. Well, in order to make them visible, what I need to do is select my object and go to attribute editor. Let's go to the glow. And if you come to the emission, you need to bump up the scale. So I'm going to give the value of two. And immediately you will see the lighting effect is coming out. Okay. And I'm going to move it a little bit further. There we go. So I'm going to hit Control D to make a duplicate. Move it back. There we go. And what I'm going to do is go to my view, select camera. And in the camera attribute, what you need to do is go to Arnold and enable DOF, which is known as depth of field. Uh, obviously you, you can see it. Uh, there is no effect going on of the depth of field. So uh, depth of field works in units. So if you see the grid, this is your one unit. So in order to work the depth of field, what you need to do is check how many how much further is this object okay so I can check this by going from distance from camera and if you want this options you can just go to the um, display and heads up display and object details so you can turn on and off from over here there we go And now I got this uh, value over here, which is 32.722. So what I'm going to do is again, go to view, select camera. And I'm going to turn on my, increase my focus distance. So let's give the value of 33. Sorry. So let's go to select camera and maybe just bump up some aperture size let's try with two and you can see immediately everything's so much blurry let's give it the value of try some things very low so 0 0.05 and actually I'm just going to decrease the value over here so I, I want to keep this focus so my bad I want to keep this focus so I'm going to give the value of 11 actually so let's go to view select camera let's give the value of 11 so this becomes focus and let's increase our aperture size now let's go the value of let's try 0 0.5 and you can see immediately it's get blurry so this is way too high i'm going to try with 0 0.1 and that's much better you can even play with the aperture blades this gives you some kind of a um more like a jagginess into the blur so i can increase maybe two maybe a little bit three and let's try seven this looks better there we go now in order to make different different colors what you can do is Control d just move it a little bit side and what 
I can do is let's go to hyper shader and click on the glow and hit control D to make a duplicate I'm just going to move it aside a little bit I'm just going to select these faces double click and let's click this one and just hold it on shift and double clip and it will select the loop like that so I'm just going to draw my selection hold it on shift and create a sign there we go and I'm going to apply the second glow over here so assign material to selection bring it up there we go Sign material to selection and if we come over here on the attribute editor we got this emission over here so I'm going to change the color maybe something like aqua and you can see the difference over here right and then you can just rotate them like the way you want it right now you can see there's a lot of noise going on and this is not the final result we are expecting so what I can do is play with a little bit render setting so I can go to render setting on or render and I can bump up this value so this will increase your render time but it gives you the nice smooth results so I'm going to increase my anti-aging so I'm going to give the value of maybe 16 and again you can see it's taking a little bit longer to render but it will smooth up the noise you can also increase the diffuse so I'm going to give the value of 6 and again it's taking a little bit longer to render but we are getting some smooth results over here now I'm not going to play with the glossy reflection SS and volume in indirect because since we are not using these values so I'm going to stick with the camera and the fuse and you can see the results are looking fine oops let me just move it a little bit there we go so I'm just going to pause it for two seconds and let it be render alright we're back so um, this is the final result which you get once you render it you can do some little bit smoothing over here so you get a nice clean result but yeah this is how you can create multiple balls and you can get the results something like this and I would recommend play with this get some different outputs don't make it same uh, as I did just do some experiment and find something new and creative and that's what we wanted so yeah there you have it uh, this was the tutorial on uh, Arnold's and lighting or a little bit on Maya obviously so anyhow so uh, yeah uh, if you want more tutorials so subscribe like my video share it and thanks for watching